we know you've been wondering who the most hated reality TV stars of 2023 are. Well, at number 10, we have Lisa Renna. Lisa Renna's reputation has taken hits from Bravo fans for years, but it wasn't until The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season 12 premiered in May that Lisa became one of the biggest reality television villains. Lisa and Kathy Hilton's public feud kicked off in January after the cast went on an explosive cast trip to Aspen. Since then, Lisa has not only refused to apologize for her part in the controversy to Kathy, but got booed at BravoCon in October last year for how she treated Real Housewives of Beverly Hills fans online and other co-stars like Sutton and Crystal Kung Minkoff on the show. Lisa has continuously blamed her horrid behavior on the passing of her mother in October 2021. Next up, Giselle Bryant. Even though audiences have shamed the Real Housewives of Potomac's most consistent potster for causing drama amongst the cast, where would this show be without her? Eight seasons in and Giselle is still the driving force behind many of the show's most explosive moments. Number eight, Christine Quinn. One of the best new reality TV villains we've seen in years, Christine Quinn is an intimidatingly beautiful real estate agent who acts as the queen bee of the Oppenheim group and she's proved to be incredibly versatile in that role on Netflix's addictive selling sunset. Christine is a pro at mean girling the new hires, in particular Chriselle Stoss, as she is at turning on her former close friend, Mary Fitzgerald. No matter the circumstance, there's a pathological, unapologetic quality to Christine that makes her an ideal villain. Her backhands have backhands as she finds every possible angle to get the last dig. Number seven, Candace Dillard Bassett. Regarding the Real Housewives, fans are always split down the middle regarding problematic stars that are good for the show, and Candace is one of them. She's known for feuding with her co-stars, Monique, Giselle, Robin, and Ashley. However, despite her drama stirring ways, Candace has always proved to be a fan favorite. With her quick wit and sharp tongue, she often steals the spotlight in any scene she's in, but it hasn't always been smooth sailing for this housewife. In our number six spot, Teresa Judici. Teresa flipped a table on her co-star during their first season filming The Real Housewives of New Jersey. How could audiences not have a problem with her? Even then, she's remained an integral part of the show for 14 seasons and has given viewers even more jaw-dropping scenes from broken glasses to physical altercations. Teresa has become a household name since her debut on The Real Housewives of New Jersey in 2009 and her fiery personality and explosive temper have made for entertaining television but also sparked controversy among viewers. Number five, my favorite, Kris Jenner. Kris Jenner, the mastermind behind the now infamous Kardashian clan, has acquired a reputation as a shrewd manipulative manager who cares more about her family's brand than their well-being. Mending center stage on keeping up with the Kardashians since 2007 and now the Kardashians, Kris Jenner has been responsible for perpetrating her family's controversial fame and directly influencing the reality TV landscape. As the matriarch of a dynasty that often represents the worst in reality television, Kris Jenner's influence and impact are both undeniable and problematic. Number four, Kim Kardashian. Like mother, like daughter, as one of the most polarizing figures in reality television, Kim Kardashian has become a symbol of fame without merit. A reality TV star who seemingly willed herself into celebrity status. Though her appearances on Keeping Up with the Kardashians and her impressive ability to leverage her fame into numerous business ventures, Kim has come to embody both the best and worst aspects of the genre. While she certainly generates a significant amount of revenue, her fame also concerns for people about the role reality television plays in perpetrating and rewarding superficiality. Next up, Nene Leakes. Feisty and unafraid to speak her mind, Nene Leakes became a standout star on Bravo's The Real Housewives of Atlanta 
endearing herself to fans with her candidness and no-nonsense attitude. While NeNe Leakes' antics have contributed to her popularity, making her one of the franchise's most memorable personalities, they have also led to numerous conflicts with fellow cast members and strained relationships. Even though she is no longer a part of the franchise, her time in reality TV spotlight, the delicate balance between entertaining and protecting personal connections. Number two, Natalie Nunn. The producer of the new Baddies franchise, Natalie Nunn, is still the same girl from Bad Girls Club, just with more money and a Nikki reference. Natalie Nunn became famous as the provocative and confrontational cast member in the fourth season of Bad Girls Club. She quickly gained a reputation as a reality TV villain thanks to her aggressive behavior and self-proclaimed queen status. After the show, Natalie appeared in various spin-offs and other reality series, always keeping her antagonist persona for the sake of entertainment. Her continued presence in the genre shows how reality TV often stereotypes its participants prioritizing drama over personal growth or redemption. And last but not least, at number one, Jocelyn Hernandez. Jocelyn Hernandez rose to fame as one of the most continuous cast members on VH1's Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. Tumultuous relationship with music producer Stevie J and her ongoing feuds with fellow cast members caused her to become a polarizing figure in the reality TV world. Now as the star of Jocelyn's cabaret, we start to see a different side to Jocelyn or maybe not so different. While her provocative antics undoubtedly contributed to her popularity, they also underscore the reality TV genre's tendency to reward divisive behavior at the expense of personal well-being and growth. But with that concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and share, and let us know, did we miss any of the most hated reality TV stars? We'll see you in the next video. Bye.